So, in our thing, blah, blah, blah. Today on the Edge of Edge, I'm going to show you how to make a vegan carrot cake with cream cheese frosting for Easter. Yay! The first part of our carrot cake that we're going to make is actually the carrot cake part of the cake. This isn't a gluten-free cake because I'm not a gluten-free baker, I'm a normal baker that just happens to bake vegan. Actually, I'm not a baker at all, I hate baking. So in our mixer, you can also do this in a bowl with like a whisk or if you have one of those hand mixers, those electric hand mixers. I have a stand mixer, so I'm going to do this in there. First thing we're going to do is mix in our sugar with our wet ingredients. So we have our coconut sugar, which is my favorite sugar to bake with. You can use whatever sugar you want, but I really love the like dark caramel flavor of the coconut sugar and kind of what it gives to the carrot. So that's what I'm using. Then we have some coconut oil. Lots of coconut in this recipe, actually. I think I have a thing for coconut. What do you think? Keeping on the coconut theme, we have coconut yogurt. Now you can use applesauce if you don't have coconut yogurt. I've done this with both and they both turn out really, really nice. It just gives it like a nice fluffy and moist, like cakey texture. It just makes the cake like nice and fluffy and moist. That's the only reason why we're adding it. And last but not least, we of course have our vanilla. And we're just going to mix that together. While our wet ingredients are mixing, we're going to add our dry. So I just have some flour here. This is organic all-purpose flour. If you have a gluten-free flour that you love to use, you can use that, but I'm not gluten-free. Um, so I just cook with regular organic all-purpose bleach flour. So I've added some ginger, cinnamon, pinch of salt, or not. If you just wanna stay there, that's fine. And then of course our baking powder and baking soda. I'm just gonna mix that together and get rid of any lumps. So once that's nice and smooth, we're going to add our dry to our wet. And they can have a little magical party in there of cake mixing delight and whatever. And then it's not a cake party until the carrots show up. Said no one ever. But in this case, it's true. I have a juicer and I juice like every two days. I keep the carrot pulp from my carrot juice to make carrot cake. I know. So that's the pulp that I'm using. So you can grate a carrot or you can do what I do. So we're gonna fold in our carrots into our cake mixture and we're gonna keep mixing it again. There's a lot of mixing in this recipe. Now we're going to add our batter to our greased pans. Mmm, doesn't that look good? So just like go in and spread it out. Probably got, could have gone with a smaller pan, just like a five inch maybe instead of a nine, but I don't have that, so. That's why we're not doing that. And again, you can even put this just in one cake pan and then cut it through the center if you want to make multi-layered. But I never cut it straight. It always ends up on an angle. And then it's like lopsided cake failure. So now we're going to throw these guys into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Check them after 25. If a toothpick comes out clean, you're good to go. If not, put it back in there for another five minutes. Toss them in there. I'm gonna set my timer because I always burn things. Come on. 25. Now we can make our icing. You could just totally skip this and just buy vegan cream cheese and add some icing sugar and voila. But if you don't want to buy a pre-made um, cream cheese, you can just make it yourself. So we have our confectioner sugar here and we're just going to add some vegan margarine butter substitute. I feel like in theory you could also do this with coconut oil. I've just never done it with coconut oil, but I mean, you could try it and let me know how it goes. And we have some almond milk, vanilla. To get the cheesy flavor, we're going to add a little bit of salt, some fresh lemon juice, and some apple cider vinegar. So mix all that together in a stand mixer or a hand mixer or a bowl with a whisk if you're feeling really ambitious. Ooh, you'll end up this beautiful frosting. And then we're going to frost our cake. Let the cake cool. This is really important. Sometimes I'm impatient, and I know you're impatient, and then you try and ice a warm cake, and it's a goopy, disgusting, sugary mess. And I mean, you can still eat it, but it doesn't look good. And it's Easter, so you wanna serve it to people, right? Now I'm just doing, like, I like a, like a rustic looking cake, so I'm doing four layers, but minimal frosting. This is just the center, so I'm just going to do like a quick frost. Mm -hmm. 
There you have it guys, a vegan carrot cake with cream cheese frosting that doesn't contain cheese or cream. Amazing, I know. It's vegan sorcery. I can't wait to share this with my family on Easter dinner. If you guys have any recipe requests for desserts or like major holiday dishes that you want made, leave me a comment below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, also give it a big thumbs up and make sure that you hit that subscribe button and we will be friends forever. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Happy spring. Love you. Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own Cadbury cream eggs at home that are totally vegan and use ingredients that you can pronounce.